how's it going? Good, how are you doing, Mary? I am well, I'm well. Are you ready to talk about Scale Up? I am always ready to talk about Scale Up. That's a good answer. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, all right. So uh, I'm Mary Yamada. I'm a tech to market advisor here at ARPA-E. And James? I'm James Zaylor. I'm the Associate Director of Technology to Market at ARPA-E. Excellent. So maybe to start off with, we should talk a little bit about what Scale Up is. So. SCALE-UP stands for Seeding Critical Advances for Leading Energy Technologies with Untapped Potential. So this is ARPA-E's first ever scaling and pre-pilot program. It's a $75 million program, so it represents one of our biggest ever at ARPA-E. And this is a completely new concept for us. So our focus programs focus on taking technologies to a prototype stage. And scale up is the idea is that we want to take them from there and push them further towards commercialization. So whether that means working on things like uh, improving uh, manufacturability or reliability, uh, these are all types of things that we want scale up to focus on and really kind of tackle that second valley of death. Uh, this is a program that is very much focused on small businesses and for profit companies. And in addition to that, we also want these folks to work with industry and investors. So we've encouraged a lot of ways in which uh, they can partner with these potential entities. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. But James, do you want to talk about where we are right now in ScaleUp? Yeah, sure thing. So ScaleUp is a multi-phase, multi-step program. We've just exited the first step in the process, which is evaluating and selecting semifinalists based on a preliminary application. So as Mary mentioned, Part of the effort here is to do outreach and connect these, these researchers and these technologies with partners that can help them succeed as they take their technologies forward in the scale-up program and application process. To do that, we've taken, the of the 32 selected semifinalists, we are taking 24 of them that have elected to make their candidacy or their application public, and we are giving the, um, them the opportunity to showcase their technology. Of those 24 semifinalists, they fall into four basic application areas, transportation, buildings and agriculture, grid and renewables, and industrial technologies. In the transportation space, we have all solid state batteries, we have non-invasive battery testing, we have EV range prediction, eco driving for, uh, for heavy duty vehicles. In the buildings and agricultural space, we have gallium nitride transistors for power supplies for, uh, for data centers, we have crop monitoring sensors, and radiative sky cooling for more efficient building cooling in commercial spaces. In the grid and renewables space, we have lithium ion supercells for stationary, state safe stationary grid storage. We have grid edge software for distributed energy re resource control and utilization. We have smart grid power control devices, and we have transmission congestion management software. And in the industrial space, we have renewable natural gas treatment and compression technology. We have methane leak detection. We have low temperature waste heat recovery technologies. All of these companies, as Mary mentioned, are working across a range of types, from technology integration into real world energy systems, building capacity to manufacture more of the technology at lower unit prices, validating performance of the technology, and ultimately value proposition of the technology in the real world demonstrating manufacturability of the technology and showing that it's reliable in its use. Ultimately, these are all intended to demonstrate that these technologies can be made not just feasible, but viable as products for, for end consumers. Mary, over to you to talk about partnering. Yeah, thanks, James. So as we both kind of mentioned, partnering is extremely important. So this could be an investor, this could be someone within the value chain. So whether it's a potential customer or end user, we want a wide variety of potential folks throughout the value chain to be involved with these scale up teams and companies. And the form of partnership can take a variety of forms, whether it's an actual formal partner on the project team or someone serving as an advisory role. All of this is extremely useful and beneficial to our companies and teams. And in order to help you learn a little bit more about who these companies are, we've done two things. The first is we've put together our Launchpad site. So this will be a website that you can go to that will have profiles on each of the 24 semifinalists that have opted to become public. On these profiles, you'll be able to find information like 
information about the company, about their team, and also about their technology and project that they propose through ScaleUp. It'll also talk a little bit about the types of partners they're looking for and also includes contact information where you can get a hold of them. In addition to the Launchpad, which we anticipate will go live hopefully in early August, we're also going to be hosting a live workshop where each of these 24 teams and companies will be pitching a three minute uh, pitch to you. And uh, this will take place August 11th and 12th from 1 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so we hope you can tune in. Uh, we have a website, so uh, hopefully that is on the screen right now where you can find information to register. Uh, so we definitely encourage you to attend and start talking to these semifinalists. Uh, a lot of them are, are really looking forward to that. So thank you. Uh, I think that's, that's all we've got, James, right? That is it. Excellent. Thank you.